guess where we aren't tonight? My house. Oh, and that's where we are. We're not at Poppy's house. We're at Evie's house. Evie's house. Evie's house. Yes. We're at. We're playing at your house, aren't we? We're gonna go trick or treat, and we're gonna eat candies, and we're gonna eat cupcakes, and Poppy is making pumpkin soup. You want some pumpkin soup? No. You don't? No. Okay. Well, you don't have to eat pumpkin soup. It's okay. No. You want some scacciata? Yeah, scacciata is good. You want some salad? Yeah, salad. You like salad? Oh, it's candy. You like it? You eat it. I ate your candy. Okay. We're making pumpkin soup tonight, and it's going to be really good. Really good. Really good. If you have not liked and subscribed, do it for her. Because she's cute. And yes, she has makeup on, but she's dressed like a princess for Halloween. So, ugh. Anyway. Mm. Okay. We'll come back in five minutes and we're going to look at the ingredients for the pumpkin soup because it's going to be delicious. Shall we kiss the camera? Okay, we're going through the ingredients for pumpkin soup. And the first one is that little cutie right there. Yes, we're gonna eat her up because she's yummy. Yeah. Okay, so for pumpkin soup, what you're gonna need is about four quarts of chicken stock. You're gonna need a few onions. We have some leeks. We have fresh garlic. We've got butter. We have half and half. We have heavy cream. And I've got two cans of pureed pumpkin, two different brands. Sorry, don't ask me why. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And this is gonna be great. We'll come back with some preparation and maybe I'll let you see that cutie again. Who knows? So when we start this recipe out, the first thing we're gonna do is heat up the oven to 300 degrees. And one of the cool things about this is we're gonna chop our vegetables, our onions, our garlic, and our leeks. We're gonna put them in a pan, drizzle them with some oil, salt and pepper, throw them in the oven and roast them for about a half an hour. That's gonna bring out just a really rich flavor in your veggies. We're going to do the same thing with the pumpkin puree. So I'm going to chop vegetables. We're going to put them on pans and uh, we will get started. Okay, so now every bit of this is going to be chopped very coarsely uh, because basically what we're doing, once we roast these, we're going to puree them with some of that chicken stock and it's going to be so good. You definitely want this. This recipe is like one that my people beg me for like all the stinking time. Like. They want it in the summertime. I'm like, this is a fall recipe, if ever there was a fall recipe. But anyway, just, yeah, coarsely chop your onions, kind of like you're, you know, cutting apple wedges. Not a big deal. I just do a real rough chop on my garlic, which is not that big a deal. Definitely not going really small because, again, I just want it to roast up in that oil, and then we're going to puree it right in. So I've got about five garlic cloves there. Then I have these leeks, so you're going to cut the ugly tail end off of those and just kind of do some coarse chops on your leeks as well. Very, very easy preparation for this. Um, the real magic happens when you're roasting it in the oven. That's when you're going to get your hi out of this recipe. So anyhow, we're going to chop the rest of this up. I'll get them on the roasting pan. We'll toss them in some oil and we'll be back for the pumpkin. Okay, we got our veggies on this wonderful beautiful baking dish i've lined it with foil and i've got just a little bit of oil in it so these are going to go right into the oven just kind of in a single layer i'm going to bake them at about 350 for about a half an hour i've got to get the pumpkin ready and do the same and then we will come back shortly all right so i'm just going to put this pumpkin right on a baking sheet and you think oh my god it's going to stick if you put it in the oven no it's not because there's a natural oil in that pumpkin it'll keep it from sticking I will then spatula this off when it's time to go in the soup. Again, all of this is kind of going to, you know, the, the pumpkin puree is already pureed, but the vegetables will be pureed, and they are amazing. I'm smelling them right now. They're not even in the oven yet. So anyway, I'm just going to smooth this out onto a baking sheet. I hope you can see this. Just kind of like you're icing a cake. You just want a thin layer. You don't want it to burn. Uh, but we're going to throw it in and roast it for a little while and just keep an eye on it. That roasted pumpkin makes for a really great flavor for the soup. So we'll do some more. 
you know, there's been like a few pumpkin shortages this year. I couldn't find canned pumpkin in the store. Thankfully, I had 719 cans in my pantry, so we were fine. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm actually using the last three cans. I used one yesterday for my pumpkin cheesecake, which, yeah, if you haven't seen that video, you definitely need to take a trip over and see it, because, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is so sexy. Okay. So now this is two cans of pumpkin. We're going to throw these in the oven with our veggies and we're roasting it off for about a half an hour just to give it its best possible flavor. We'll come back when it's time to puree some veggies, baby. Okay, so I'm kind of off the camera here, but you get the idea. I'm going to start out by putting about three quarts of this chicken stock and I'm just using box stock and you make the real deal. Yeah. Is it really worth your trouble all the time? If you got that kind of time, then baby, I say go for it. Make you some stock. I made it for years, and I do love to make it. But at the time, I was kind of working from home, so. All right, we got the fire on under the chicken stock. Right over there in that crock pot, my daughter's got some mulled wine going. Can't wait for that. And over here in the oven, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, we have, ooh, look at the steam. Look at that go. We have the onions and the pumpkin roasting. It's gonna be so delightful. We're gonna get started in just a minute, pureeing the vegetable. Okay, I got my hot vegetables in the blender. I'm gonna add enough liquid to make it sexy. And believe me when I tell you, it's going to be sexy. And we are going to put the lid on the blender. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, Feldman. This thing is very precise about what you do. All right. Now, what you have now is a beautiful puree of veggies. I don't know if I can back this up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add it to our pumpkin soup. Carefully, because it's going to splatter. Slowly, carefully, so it doesn't splatter. Looky there. This pot is too small. I can already tell you because I am not going to be able to add any creams or anything to this, so I may have to split this between two pots just to make sure that I got it right. But that's not a big deal because we'll, um, we'll get another pot on the stove and I'll split this up. One of them will go home with me. One of them will stay here with my daughter. Okay, so now one of the things that I did not mention, whenever you're making a soup, especially if you're making it within like a short time frame, if you find that your soup is a little too thin, a little thinner than you like, you can make a slurry of flour and water or cornstarch and water and what you want is if you're going to use flour which is what I'm using you want the consistency to be kind of runny but it's going to be like a very thick white you want to get as many of the lumps out as you can and then you're able to add that to your soup to thicken it up um, makes it just a little more um, I don't know a little want want to it so uh, we are absolutely firing on all burners to get this ready so we'll have it ready to eat tonight that's what I'm wanting I do have it in two pots now because I didn't plan very well. I knew this recipe made a huge quantity and I was not prepared. So anyway, we just used one of my daughter's pots over here and it's doing just fine. It's a little pot of soup. We've got a little pot and a big pot and between us we'll have it all anyway because these kids my daughters, they eat this stuff like it's going out of the style. So anyway, I'm going to add this slurry. I don't know if you can even see this because the angle is not very good and I'm filming this by myself. All my people are outside, but we'll go ahead and show you exactly what we're doing here. So um, I'm going to save just a small amount of this for the smaller pot. And I'm going to just pour a good chunk of that, you know, a good little bit of that slurry into this soup. And what that's going to do is it's going to start to thicken that soup up. I don't know if you've, you know, kind of done that before, but uh, it's a good way to get a thicker product. You can use cornstarch as well, and I vary them. It depends on what I'm doing um, in a given situation, but you definitely want to bring this to a good boil, and we'll let it cook down. 
And then right over here, I'll just use this last little bit for this other pot of soup over here. Okay, so cooking in anybody else's kitchen is not fun. I don't like it. My daughter has a beautiful kitchen. She's used to it. I'm not. I hope that I can show you this just a little bit. Let's see if I can get close and like put this where you can actually see. I got a, a nice stream of sour cream in there and some pepitas, the little toasted pumpkin seeds. So good. Oh my goodness. It's a delight. And so now I am going to just mix it up. Take me a delicious bite. It is hot. Yes. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. You season it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder to taste. But those root vegetables roasted until they're good and done and then puree them and put them in your soup pot, you will need a big soup pot for this recipe. I found that out hard way. So, um, Definitely want to try this. It's really good. Now, I have got to eat this and go play with my granddaughter because we are having fun. We're going trick-or-treating. We're seeing the trick-or-treaters. We're going to have a good time. But anyway, I hope that you will like and subscribe. Make sure you check out all of my content. I've got a brand new book, Poppy's Thanksgiving Recipes. It's on my Etsy store. You definitely want to check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and then, too, don't forget... When I reach 250 subscribers, I'm giving away a red pot, which is the pot I probably should have brought to make my soup, but I didn't, so. Yes, my scary daughter. Uh -huh. Anyhow, all right, so we will uh, talk to you soon. It's great to see you. Happy Halloween. Bye. Hey, did the mash. Hey, did the monster mash.